What's up, DC? I'm Lexi. And I'm Logan. It's Tuesday, January 31st, and today's National Hot Chocolate Day. Here's the news. Congratulations to Taylor Palmer and Morgan Stone. They won first place in the Unified Regional Bowling Competition in Glasgow on Saturday. They will participate in the state tournament in Lexington in February. Attention athletes! Any student athlete that is planning to sign a letter of intent to play athletics at the collegiate level will need to schedule with the athletic office. The student athlete must be receiving athletic scholarship or a confirmed preferred walk-on to schedule a signing here at school. See Coach Harley or Gwyneth Burgess. Now stay tuned for a brief video for students using Chromebooks. Hey guys, I've got a presentation here I think you'll enjoy. This will be quick. Many of you are getting blocked by iBoss from sites that you should be able to get to. It's blocking you because iBoss doesn't know who you are. It doesn't know who you are because you have not been logging in. At the beginning of the year, we had this page set as the home page on all of your Chromebooks, but many of you have since changed it and personalized your Chromebook, and that's okay, but you're forgetting to log in. You need to always log in at this website seen here, http colon slash slash login.dcps.net, and then iBoss will know who you are, and it will let you in to the sites that you need to be to. Of course, there's still some sites that we will always block. If you want to make this a permanent thing, that you don't have to remember that URL every time, you can change your settings to where the home button appears on the top of your left of your browser. You would do that by going to the snowman menu, marked as number one. Number two, click on settings. Number three, you're going to go down to appearance. Make sure that show home button is checked and click change. Once the home page change box comes up, which is step four, where it says open this page, you're going to want to type in login.dcps.net and click OK. From that point forward, every time you open up your Chrome browser, you can click on the home button as the very first thing, get logged in, and from that point forward, our boss will know who you are. Hope that helps. Attention seniors, are you in need of college scholarships? Check the guidance website for scholarship opportunities as it is updated on a daily basis. Attention students, AP exam registration starts on February 1st. The cost of each exam is $93. The link to the website will be available on the DCHS homepage starting February 1st. After registration, please print it out, get it signed by a parent or a guardian, and bring it along with payment to Ms. Shaw and guidance. You can make checks payable to DCHS. If you are a free and reduced lunch student, your fee will be paid by the school. Just make sure you select the option during registration. Attention students, through a partnership with DCPS and OCTC, our students will have the opportunity to earn an Associate's in Arts or Science degree from OCTC upon high school graduation. You must have a 3.0 GPA and have met benchmarks in order to apply. Applications are due no later than March 17, 2017. Please turn the application in to your guidance counselor. Attention students, Brush is creating a co-ed esports team for the fall of 2017 school year. Brush's esports team will actively participate in the activities and competitions sanctioned by NACE, National Association of Collegiate Esports. Anyone who is interested may come to a meeting February 1st during CCR in the Media Center to gather more information about the new esports program. Now stay tuned for more information about Brush's new esports program. Hey guys, my name is Samantha Lipscomb. I'm with a Brush University admissions office. Um, I'm an admissions counselor. Today we're going to um, go over a little bit about our new eSports program. Um, with me I have Coach Forbes. He's the head coach for eSports. So can you tell right. me a little bit about the eSports program? It's a, it's a brand new program that um, Brush is, is, is offering. It's online gaming. Um, I know a lot of you out there play a lot of console, PS4, um, Xbox. That's not what this is. This is on the PC. Um, the first game that we're going to uh, venture with, <clears throat> that we're going to venture with, is League of Legends, um, and then we're going to branch out probably to uh, Overwatch, and then maybe even a little CS:GO. Um, it's just another opportunity for students to be engaged at the university, 
the good thing is, is that whenever you get this information and you go home and tell mom and dad, hey, I can go to Brush and play video games, you have to remember to tell them that we are offering scholarship money for this. So it's a, it's a really cool opportunity for students. That's awesome that you guys are offering scholarships to play <laughs> computer games. Um, so we're going to be here on campus tomorrow in the Media Center during CCR. Um, you can come get some more information. <clears throat> And we can talk about the admissions process for Brescia as well. Um, so come see us during CCR in the Media Center tomorrow. Attention students, if you are looking for a fun field summer job with tons of benefits, then Holiday World and Splash and Safari is the place for you. They are now accepting applications for the 2017 season. If you are, if, if you are service oriented, safety minded, friendly, and love to meet new people, then there may be a job for you. If you're interested, then apply at www.holidayworld.com slash jobs. Now this week's edition of Powers Points. Hey DC family, I want to talk to you today about the word respect. Uh, respect is something that as you know we all like. Uh, we, we all want respect from our peers, from others, uh, but it's something that if we're going to get it, we have to give it first. And it's something that has to be earned. It's not something that you get automatically. You have to earn it from others. So I'm going to go through a few, uh, give you some examples of uh, some, some, really our goal in life is, is to, uh, our daily life should win the respect of others. So that, that is something that, that should be in, the, in our mind every day. Like, are we living our life a certain way that we gain respect from others because of it? One example would be always taking the high road. Think about people that you have been around, that you have seen taking the high road. Uh, you automatically respect that person, and I've seen it happen. Uh, someone puts another person down, and instead of retaliating and trying to get even and getting defensive, that person takes the high road and doesn't let it affect them. And they come back with the, with the, they don't let it steal their joy, and they come back with the right attitude. and and. Uh, you know, to me, at that point, I respect that person because they don't react like everybody else. And that's a good thing. Uh, doing the right thing even when no one's looking. That word, when I think about that, I think of integrity. Um, a person of integrity gains respect from people because, again, it's easy to go the other way and not be a person of integrity. To, uh, to do something, you know, when you think, okay, no one's seeing this, so I can get away with whatever. But if you're the type of person that... Um, does the right thing even when nobody's watching uh, you're going to gain respect from people because people are going to know what type of person you are. Um, finding common ground in order to be a peacemaker. Uh, so many times I see uh, people not be peacemakers. They get upset or they try to push people's buttons or they they try to get somebody upset with another person and they sit back and watch it all unfold. Those are not peacemakers. Those are people that that I don't respect and you I'm sure don't respect so don't be like that. Uh, having an attitude of faith and thanksgiving uh, I like to be around people that uh, are happy they're positive they are very thankful uh, for what they've been given they have an attitude of gratitude uh, no one likes to be around sour people that are negative uh, and aren't thankful for what all they've been given uh, no one likes to be around people that um, have this idea that everything should be given to them, an entitlement mentality. So again, being a person that uh, the goal is again to, uh, to be a person that, that your life should win the respect of others. And there's many ways that you can do that. Um, I think that if, if you want to influence others in a positive way, then you live your life uh, in such a way that others may respect you. So uh, whatever you give usually comes back to you. Respect is something that, again, if you, if you want it, you've got you've to gotta give it first and it's something you have to, have to be earned. Uh, it's not automatic. So hope this helps you guys. Uh, think about the word respect as you go throughout your week this week. Think of ways that you can uh, gain respect from other people. But remember, you've got to give it first. So no matter what happens to you, give respect to other people. See what happens to you. Everybody have a great week, and as always, stay classy. Attention seniors currently applying for college. As your acceptance letters come in, please bring them to Ms. Colbert's room anytime so that you can be recognized for your accomplishments. These letters will be copied and any personal information other than your name will be removed. 
The copy will be hung outside the wall outside the CCR room. The student council is teaming up with Ms. Colbert and others to provide this opportunity and make sure you get all the recognition you deserve. If you have any questions, see Ms. Colbert. Congratulations and good luck. Attention junior and senior guys. If you are interested in joining Wise Guys, please stop by Mr. Clark's room, room 216, to get an application form. Here's what's going on today at D.C. The boys basketball team is traveling to take on Hopkinsville with the JV game starting at 6, followed by the varsity game at 7.30. That's all your news for today, D.C. Stay classy.